lot of people upon initial viewing thought that she won the fight. And so without further ado, I wanted to get the Tyler Santos story out there as well. And she is kind enough to be joining us from Brazil. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much for the time. Obrigado. I appreciate it. And we're also being joined by your manager slash translator, the great Tiago Akamura as well. So thank you, Tiago. Thank you to both of you. Thanks, guys. É, eu tô agradecendo a tua presença aí, né? E tá vindo contar um pouco da história do que aconteceu. Cool. Oi. Oi, tá, tá me ouvindo? Sim. É, ele tá só agradecendo você estar tá vindo aí no programa e, e participar e contar um pouco da história aí do que foi acontecendo. Tá. É, ok, eu que agradeço, né? É, pelo convite, estou muito feliz. E então estamos aí para falar um pouquinho né, dessa luta que foi super importante aí na minha carreira. Estou muito feliz. Yeah, I'm very happy with the opportunity to be talking to you. And you know, it was a great fight, very important fight in my career. And I know there's probably some stuff that we need to talk about it. Yes, and I appreciate the time. Could I ask you first and foremost, Tyler, uh, how is your eye feeling? <coughs> É, primeiramente, né, antes de qualquer coisa, perguntar como é que tá o seu olho, né? Como é que você tá se sentindo? É, meu olho tá bem, é, já desinchou bastante, quase nem tô sentindo dor, é, tomando todo o medicamento, né, que foi indicado. E tá bem tranquilo, é, tá tendo uma melhora bem rápida, na verdade. E só esperar baixar um pouquinho mais o inchaço, né, para poder estar tá efetuando a cirurgia. Mas tá tudo ok. So the eye is doing all right, like compared to where it was uh, on fight night. Uh, I'm taking a lot of medication that the, the doctor prescribed, and now we're just waiting for the swelling to go down. It has gone significantly down, but we got to wait for it to come down so we can get into surgery. Uh, do you know when you'll have the surgery? Você tem ideia de quando, mais ou menos, você vai estar fazendo a cirurgia? Olha, eu acho que daqui umas duas semanas, por aí, já vai estar, já vou estar efetuando a cirurgia. Yeah, what we were told by the doctor was that we needed about two weeks for the swelling to come down, and then we'd be able to do the procedure. Okay, and of course, that's for the uh, the broken orbital. And and did they tell you how long the recovery will be? É, então, essa é pelo, pelo orbital quebrado, né? Teve, eles deram uma perspectiva de quanto tempo vai demorar para recuperar? Olha, eu acho que a recuperação é uma recuperação bem rápida. Eu acho que é coisa de um mês, um mês e pouquinho. É, tomando todo o cuidado necessário, né? O mais importante é só evitar a pancada ali em cima, né? Evitar porrada, que isso não vai acontecer. Yeah, main thing is just to be careful not to, to get uh, hit on the, on the region, but what the doctor told us was about a week for the actual cut and the, the procedure to, to heal up, and then about a month and a half or two, two for the bone to restructure itself around the, the mesh that they're going to put it in. Okay. Um, now I, I wanted to go back to the the kind of beginning of this particular story. Um, you get the fight. It's a big deal. You're fighting the pound for pound number one. And obviously you're an underdog. Everyone's an underdog who fights Valentina. Leading up to the fight, fight week in Singapore, was your confidence growing? How would you describe how you were feeling as you were heading into the biggest fight of your life? É a maior luta da sua vida, né? Você estava indo contra uma, uma das atletas melhor, pound for, pound for pound, do, do feminino, e uma atleta que praticamente todo mundo que pisou na frente dela ali foi era zebra, e você era uma zebra nesse caso também. É, como é que foi essa semana de luta para você? Como é que estava a sua confiança na, na semana e, e chegando na luta? É, eu estava bem confiante, né? É, porque foi isso que eu almejei durante toda toda essa minha vida, esse meu decorrer de treino, né, essa minha carreira. É, então, eu estava muito feliz, até porque eu consegui isso em muito pouco tempo, né, dentro de duas lutas ali eu consegui é, a chance ao título. Então, eu consegui mostrar o que eu queria mostrar realmente, que ela tinha falhas, então eu consegui mostrar isso, ela falou que eu não iria vencer em nenhuma das áreas nela. E foi muito fácil conseguir pôs nela o meu jogo de chão, consegui fazer minhas quedas, então eu consegui mostrar e desvendar que sim, ela tem falhas e que ela não é um monstro na categoria. Yeah, so I was very confident, you know, that's what I worked my entire life towards and within two big fights in the UFC, I was able to get my title shot um, and I was able to show the world that, you know, she's human, you know, she's not a monster, you know, she does have weaknesses that we were able to map out and work on. 
And that's the thing. She said on the interview that she wouldn't, she couldn't see me beating her in any area. And I was able to show that, you know, there are quite a few things that you can do against her that are going to get you to success. Did you feel leading up to the fight like she was looking past you? Like she didn't, you know, respect the threat that you brought to the table? Olhando assim a, a chegada da luta, você acha que ela meio que é, ignorou o risco que você podia trazer para ela? É, com certeza, ela estava super confiante e acreditando que eu seria só mais uma, né? É, até que ela falou nas entrevistas, né? Se perguntaram se aonde ela achava que eu iria dar risco para ela, e ela falou em lugar nenhum. Então, ela estava achando que eu seria apenas mais uma, né? Mas ela estava enganada porque eu entrei lá para mostrar né, que realmente eu sabia os pontos fracos dela e que eu era muito mais capaz do que ela, em mostrar que né, ela não era aquele monstro que todas as meninas ou que todo mundo fala. So for sure, you know, uh, even like the the comments that she had prior to the fight, we know that you know it's a lot about showing confidence. But you know, she said that I wouldn't really bring her uh, danger in many areas, and you know, so that clearly showed how she was uh, perceiving me. But that's the thing. I uh, went in there, you know, I did my thing, and we had her mapped out completely, and we were able to, to find a lot of success there, even though she, you know, she didn't expect anything out of me. To, she expected me just to be another one, but I was able to show otherwise. Of the first three rounds, which do you think you won? Rounds one, two, three. Do you think you won one and three, two and three, one, two and three? Now that you look back at it, which of the first three rounds do you think you won? É, revendo a luta, né? Dos primeiros três rounds, quais que você acha que você ganhou? Eu vi a luta só é, depois do evento, né? Eu cheguei no hotel, eu vi a luta, tava passando. Então, mas eu não não vi assim para fazer aquela análise. Eu só assisti ali de sangue quente. Então, na verdade, eu ainda preciso parar para analisar, assistir, né? Com calma e analisar. Mas o que eu acho que os três primeiros ali eu venci e também eu até consegui quedar ela no quarto round também, consegui manter um tempo ali o domínio, e mas depois eu também no quarto round eu já estava com o olho afetado, mesmo assim eu consegui levar ela para o chão, consegui ter um tempo de domínio ali, mas não dá para citar também como os árbitros ali viram, né, que teve uns que até deram o primeiro round para ela, então não tenho como citar o, qual foi a visão deles, né. You know, uh, I only really rewatched it uh, after I came back from the hospital. You know, it was airing there at the, the hotel, and I watched it. You know, I was still the blood was still boiling a little bit, but I believe that I won the the first three rounds upon that first watch. But let's be honest, I didn't really watch it scoring. So, right. you know, there might be some bias to my <laughs> my judgment, but I think I did enough on the first three rounds to win it. But and on the fourth round, I did get a takedown and got a little bit of control there. But you know, considering one of the judges didn't even give me first round. You know, how, how can we even understand what's going on in their minds? So, it's right. Uh, what, if anything, surprised you about the first three rounds? Like, obviously, you were confident going into it, but were you surprised that you were able to take her down like you were able to, able to control her like you were able to? You got her back at one point, uh, the neck crank, you were going for the rear naked choke. Any of those things surprising to you, or are these all things that you expected truly to happen in the fight? Teve alguma surpresa que você teve nesses primeiros três rounds, né? Você conseguiu muito sucesso, conseguiu quedar, conseguiu pegar cotas, conseguiu botar um crossface nela. É, teve alguma coisa que te surpreendeu nesses três primeiros rounds? É, do, da parte dela, assim, você está perguntando? Ah, no geral, acho que de como se desenrolou a luta. Ah, é, eu na verdade consegui fazer tudo que eu treinei que eu queria fazer, né? Então eu fiquei bem surpresa até por conta de que o pessoal botava muita pressão, né? Tipo, ah, é Valentina, Valentina. Então, quando eu entrei ali e consegui já impor as minhas quedas, consegui dominar, consegui né, até o quarto round ir com as costas dela muito facilmente, então isso me surpreendeu. Eu pensei, nossa, eu até pensei que seria mais difícil, né? Eu sempre acreditei que ela não era um monstro, que ela tinha falhas, mas eu achei muito tranquilo, assim, eu achei que ia ser, né, que eu ia ter um pouco de dificuldade para conseguir até impor as minhas quedas, ou ter um domínio ali sobre ela, né, mas ali me surpreendeu, porque eu consegui fazer tudo bem facilmente. Honestly, uh, I was a little bit surprised of uh, how well the, the game plan worked and, and how well everything that I've trained for worked. 
you know, because, you know, we're going there and everybody's like, oh, it's Valentina, it's Valentina, it's the, the, the boogie woman of the division. But, you know, everything worked out pretty much as it was planned. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to be as smooth as it really was. Wow. Did you think at any point that you were on the verge of finishing her in those first three rounds? Like, did you think she was going to tap? Um, did, like, was there ever a thought in your mind that you were like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm about to become champion, I'm about to beat Valentina? Três primeiros rounds teve algum momento que você sentiu falou, pô, agora eu vou pegar, eu acho que eu vou, eu vou virar campeã aqui. Sim, teve um momento ali no primeiro round mesmo, é, quando eu fui para as costas ali, né, consegui pegar o Mata Leão, nossa, naquela hora eu senti o gosto, assim, da vitória e tal, mas faltou os detalhes ali, né, faltou dar uma mão com mão, faltou um pouco de calma, porque o momento, a ansiedade ali, né, acabou dando uma atrapalhada, mas aquele momento ali eu senti, assim, senti o gostinho da vitória. Yeah, for sure. On the first round, especially, uh, I had her back and I went for the rear naked choke. I could taste the victory there. But, you know, there were some details that I should have adjusted. Maybe if I changed my grip a little bit, went hand to hand, instead of trying to put the pressure on my arm, maybe I could have gotten it. But, uh, you know, things that we learned. But when you clashed heads in the fourth round, could you feel right away that something bad had happened? Or did it take some time because of the adrenaline? Ali, quando vocês bateram a cabeça no, no terceiro round, você entendeu na hora o que tinha acontecido? Ou precisou a adrenalina abaixar um pouquinho para você conseguir entender? É, na hora que houve o um impacto ali, eu não sabia o que, que tinha acontecido. Eu só senti que meu olho super inchou, eu estava sentindo muita dor, mas eu não tinha se ligado que tinha sido uma cabeçada. É, eu não olhei nem para o telão, nada. Eu só sei que quando eu voltei para o quarto round, assim, eu não estava vendo nada mas eu não tinha noção do que tinha acontecido, só fui ver depois. Honestly, when the clash hit, I, all I knew was that I was in a lot of pain and my eyes started to swell a lot. Mm. You know, I couldn't really point out what happened. Uh, I didn't look at the screen. I was more concerned about, you know, what was happening in my face and, and trying to understand it. Uh, so that's the thing, like right away, I, I had no idea what exactly happened, just that it was something bad. From that point forward, could you see out of your right eye at all for the remainder of the fight? No, no, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I went to the fourth round and I even started to have a conversation internal with me. I thought, what am I going to do now? What's going on? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Eu tentei fechar o olho para ver se eu conseguia ter uma visão melhor, mas estava horrível. O olho fechado, né? Ela daí ela ia ver que eu fechei o olho ali, ela estava tentando bater só em cima daquele lado machucado e com o olho aberto eu não estava enxergando nada. Então estava bem difícil porque ela já é canhota. Então eu estava tipo muito perdida, não, não sabia, não tinha noção de como acertar ela porque eu estava toda perdida. E então atrapalhou muito ali porque fiquei sem visão mesmo do lado direito. Yeah, for sure. Like once the eye closed, I really couldn't see anything. Uh, I started seeing a lot double, and then I, I started having an inner dialogue. Like, okay, well, what can I do here? So if I close my eyes, I'm gonna be able to see a little bit better. I'm not gonna have the distance, uh. but I can see a little bit better. But then she's gonna know that something's bad, something's really wrong, and that's what happened. You know, with the eye closed, I could see a little bit better because at least I wasn't seeing double as much as I lost that that perception. But then Valentina being left-handed and everything, you know, she just started aiming for it and became a whole other problem. When the fight ended and they were about to announce the scorecards, did you feel in your heart that you had done enough? Obviously, the last two rounds didn't go your way and, and you're hurting, you can't see. But because of the first three, how you felt about them, did you feel like you were about to win 48-47, you were about to become the new champion? Ali quando acabou a luta, né? Tudo bem que você perdeu os dois últimos rounds, mas quando eles estavam se organizando para chamar, você achou que você tinha ganhado, de repente vencido por 48, 47, ou isso nem passou na sua cabeça? Não, passou na minha cabeça, né? Eu pensei, pô, eu tenho a chance, né? É, fui bem ali nos três primeiros rounds, também quedei no, no quarto round, e, mas também eu não fiquei meio assim, porque a gente não tem como saber como os juízes pontuaram, né? E foi o que aconteceu. A gente não, não sabia como eles iam pontuar, deram até rounds ali que eu dominei, deram para ela. Então eu tive, né? Eu estava confiante que podia levar, mas também estava na mão dos juízes, né? 
yeah, I, I did believe that I did enough to, to win it. But, you know, yeah, as much as I was confident, I, I was aware that, you know, you never know how judges are going to see the fight. You know, so if you don't get a finish, you, you can't really trust that they're going to see the same that you saw that you believe that happened. And that's what happened. You know? uh, were you shocked when you heard that one judge scored it 49-46 for her? Você ficou chocado de saber que teve um juiz que só deu um round para você? Sim, foi um choque ali que a gente pensou, poxa, como o que está acontecendo, né? É, a gente até falou ali que às vezes eles não têm uma visão tão boa quanto os telespectadores, né? Então, mas foi isso, né? A, mão, a luta ficou na mão dos juízes, então não adianta agora chorar pelo leite derramado, mas que a pontuação poderia ter sido diferente. Yeah, that's the thing. Like we, when I heard it, we thought it was really weird. But uh, there's one thing that you know, uh, my staff, you know, they they work a lot on refereeing and judging, and they know that you know sometimes a, ref, uh, a judge might not have the best point of view watching the fight. So you never really know what they're seeing because they don't really have a screen in front of them. And people watching the fight from home, they might have a an actual much better view of what exactly is going on than maybe someone who is judging. So, you know, it's a tough gig and, you know, there are some, some elements there that kind of make a change on, on f how fights are judged that maybe shouldn't be there. Um, and so now here we are four days removed from the fight. Could you tell us, like, even speaking about it now, thinking about it, are you upset? Are you disappointed? Does it make you angry? Do you feel like you were robbed? H how do you perceive the fight a few days removed from what happened? Agora que já passaram alguns dias né, da luta, como é que você se sente em relação ao que aconteceu? Você está chateado? Você sentiu que os caras te roubaram? Como é que você está em relação ao resultado? Estou é, bem feliz, na verdade, porque eu entreguei tudo que eu queria entregar. Eu mostrei que eu mostrei o meu potencial, né? eu mostrei que eu sou capaz, é, e eu mostrei as falhas, eu mostrei o que eu falei dela, eu consegui mostrar. Então, estou muito feliz com o resultado. É, fui lá, entreguei tudo de mim, mostrei que eu sou uma campeã, né? É, não só lá dentro do octógono, mas também na vida. Então, estou muito feliz com o meu resultado e sei que essa não foi a primeira, nem a última vez que eu lutei pelo cinturão. Eu sei que eu vou ter a minha chance novamente. Então, estou muito feliz. Yeah, honestly, like, I, I can't say that I'm upset. You know, the result wasn't what we were expecting, but I'm happy that, you know, the performance was what I was expecting. You know, what I did in there was all that I prepared for and I was able to show uh, everybody was what I told them that I was going to show. You know, I don't know, it's not just about what happens inside the cage. You know, I, I know that I'm a champion in life. I might not have the, the UFC belt around my waist, but I know that I did enough for it. And in the day, that's the that's not going to be the last time that you guys are going to see me fighting for the belt. That you can be sure. Do you feel like uh, the MMA community and in particular Valentina respects you more now after that performance? Are you feeling that respect and admiration now? acha que agora depois dessa luta o, o cenário do MMA, né, o, o, os fãs e os atletas te respeitam mais, inclusive a própria Valentina. É, com certeza, né? É, a gente, com certeza, sou muito feliz e tenho certeza que eu ganhei mais respeito com essa luta, né? É, indo lá e mostrando o meu potencial, é, mostrando, né, que a gente é capaz. É, com certeza, eu todo respeito, né? Até por ter recebido mensagens da Amanda, do Charles do Bronx, né? Já dá para ver esse respeito que vem sendo reconhecido. Então, é muito bacana. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, you know, after the fight, you know, I think I, I grew a lot in, in the MMA scene. You know, a lot more people probably know me now than they knew before the fight. A lot more people are, you know, actually taking notice of what I do and who I am. And, Uh, even amongst the fighters, you know, just getting messages from Amanda Nunes and Charles Bronx after the fight, you know, it's just, it's huge for me. Do you want an immediate rematch? Você acha que você, o próximo passo seria uma revanche imediata? É, com certeza agora, primeiro, né, eu tenho que cuidar da minha lesão, que isso é super importante, né, em primeiro lugar, se não tiver bem, eu não posso competir. Mas, com certeza, se tivesse uma revanche, eu ia aceitar. Com certeza, eu tô preparado. Eu já mostrei que eu tô preparada, né? Então, eu ia ficar muito feliz. Mas temos que ver aí também o que, que o patrão, né? Dana White vai decidir, o que, que ele vai mandar aí. Yeah, that, that's the thing. First, first of all, you know, before anything, I gotta heal up my eye. You know, uh, until I get my eye back in place and get everything in order, 
I can't really compete. So, you know, first things first. Uh, I believe that I've showed that I'm ready to fight Valentina, you know, better than probably anyone before me in this division. And now it's up for the UFC and Dana, you know, whatever they have in mind, you know, I'm here for it. If it's a rematch, then great. You know, I'm ready for it. Have they told you first? Have they told you though that they would be willing to give you a rematch once you heal up, or uh, do they want you to fight? You know, when you come back, fight someone else, and then get a, a title shot if you win that. Like, do you have any sort of idea what they're thinking? And Tiago, obviously, uh, you may know as well, so feel free to weigh in as well. Yeah. Uh, perguntou se você tem uma ideia, né? Se isso está realmente nos planos do UFC, já fazer essa revanche imediata, né? Qual que é o, o plano deles? Se eles já chegaram a, a falar alguma coisa? É, se o UFC falou alguma coisa? É, se eles já falaram alguma coisa em relação à revanche. É, saiu em algumas mídias, né? É, o pessoal pedindo revanche imediata, é, o pessoal a meu favor aí, falando que a cabeçada interferiu e queriam muito ver uma revanche e tal, mas nada do UFC mesmo, né? Mais outras mídias pequenas, o pessoal pedindo revanche, falando. Yeah, honestly, like, you know, to her, nothing came from the UFC regarding the rematch. You know, mostly has been, like, social media and, and you know, media venues just talking about how she deserves it, and she does believe that. Uh, I have spoken to Nick after the fight, but, you know, right now it's mostly about just figuring out her return time. We can't really plan anything until we get surgery done and actually understand how really bad it is or how good it is, you know. We're expecting probably at least two months before she can get, can have contact again. Okay. So we really have to understand that first before we work on anything else. Okay. Uh, two last questions uh, from me. Uh, just curious, I spoke to Misha Tate on Monday, and she's fighting at 125, and she said that you pretty much put out the blueprint how to beat Valentina, and she's feeling very confident that if she beats Lauren Murphy and gets a title shot based on what you showed, that she can beat Valentina and maybe even finish her. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that you put out the blueprint and that if someone that is a wrestler that tries to use the blueprint that you put out on Saturday goes in there next against Valentina, they can actually beat her? A Misha Tate conversou com ele essa semana, né? E ela tem a luta com a Lauren Murphy agora. E ela falou que, né, que ela gostou muito da sua performance e que você meio que mostrou um plano que funciona para se ganhar de Valentina. Então, uma wrestler de nível bom, que é o caso dela, se lutasse com ela e seguisse o mesmo plano do seu, a princípio tinha uma chance boa de ganhar dela. Você concorda com isso? Sim, concordo, né? É, eu creio que eu abri portas aí é, para várias lutadoras, mostrei né, que, que não é impossível, que é só ter uma boa estratégia ali, conseguir impor né, ela na luta, foi o que eu fiz, eu estava com isso na minha cabeça, eu sabia que aquela era as falhas dela e consegui impor o meu jogo, né? E bem facilmente. Então, se ela manter né, a estratégia dela, entrar focada e tranquila, né, e conseguir levar para o chão ali, eu acho que ela vai ter um sucesso ali nessa área. Yeah, I think that, you know, I, I showed what is what regarding uh, Valentina's style and, you know, where we can uh, get some success and someone like Misha who has a, a very strong wrestling background, you know, she's able to, to get the takedown and get top control. She, she does have a good shot. I, I believe that. Mm. Uh, last question. You fight Valentina again in the future, in the near future. How does it end? Então, se você, a última pergunta dele, né? Você luta com a Valentina de novo, digamos, né? Relativamente logo, como que essa luta acaba? É, com certeza, se rolar a luta novamente, agora eu tô bem mais tranquila, né? Já perdi todo esse nervosismo de ter o primeiro contato com ela. Então, com certeza, na próxima não vai escapar de uma finalização. Yeah, you know, just getting through the nerves of, you know, fighting for a title for the first time and going through five rounds for the first time, not to mention travel and everything else. I think that confidence on my side is going to be on an all-time high and, you know, probably hers not as high as it was before. And I believe that if we do compete again and I have five rounds, I can get the finish. I can get a submission there. Wow. Uh, what a performance. Congratulations. Parabéns on the performance. I hope you feel better. Tyla, congratulations on what you did out there. And uh, I would love to see that fight again. Thank you so much for the time, both to you and Tiago. I really appreciate it. Obrigado. Thanks, Errol. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All the best. There she is, Tyla Santos. What a performance on Saturday. Uh, regardless of whether you thought she won or not, 
And, you know, the more I, I have watched it again and, and I could see, I don't think this was a, it was a really close fight. It was a really close fight. Obviously the two rounds on the back end, four and five go to Valentina. Um, a little bit, I, I mean, again, gun to my head, I still feel the same, but I'm not going to say it's a robbery. Um, I can understand where some people are coming from. I don't think 49, 46 makes sense. Obviously we're talking about a round. 